everyone and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. I am just using natural light today. Let me know what you think. Obviously I can't do this all the time. I have no light coming in from this way, but I still think the lighting looks really pretty. So let me know what you guys think about this. Just something new to round out the year. Um, speaking of new, today I am talking about all things new products in the final what's new of the year for the month of December. Now I think that we have had some really exciting launches just throughout the year. I cannot wait to do my little yearly roundup that I did last year. I think you guys love that and I really loved going through the, all the old videos, seeing what came out, seeing what I loved, seeing stuff I loved and maybe I um, fell out of love with, things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight to business um, with December launches and we'll see if any of these make the cut into um, the yearly roundup. First up from Mahalo, oh man. Mahalo is another one of those brands like Kier Weiss, like anything like that. Anytime they make something new, I'm like, I have to have it. I have to try it. I already am a believer before it's even put in my hands. And they have come out with the hydration serum. And those words are like, hallelujah, just music to my ears. Um, I love serums. I love anything hydrating. Um, but this does come at quite the price tag of $140. Now we all know Mahalo is a very incredibly luxurious skincare line from Hawaii. Um, I don't have the full size here. I have been trialing just a little sample. So I will show you you guys the texture on camera but I will throw up a little picture so you guys can see what the full size looks like it's in that beautiful bamboo packaging as always and this goal is to improve the skin's integrity repair damaged skin fade pigmentation prevent breakouts it sort of is meant to do a little bit of everything and I really think it channels this by balancing the skin you, you can find that even if you have more dry skin you could still get breakouts either from a dietary thing or just because it's overly dry your skin's producing oils the sebum buildup is building out so it's really important um, to sort of help balance out the skin and this not only helps balance the skin and give it hydration but this is meant to act as the first step after your cleanser because it's gonna help anything you put on top of it deeper penetrate the skin. So in here we have gold, which is used in Egyptian times, like an ancient beauty ritual. There's also copper, there is peptides, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, botanical extracts, just to name a few, but this is quite the amalgamation of beautiful, um, luxurious ingredients. And so far my skin is really liking it. It has a slightly tacky texture to it. Like I said, it's more like a thick, rich gel than a oil. It's not as slippery as some serum you might be used to um, playing with but the hyaluronic acid my skin just loves to eat up I really can't get over um, how much I like this product so far but again I've just been testing this tiny little sample but um, I will let you guys know any long-term effects but those of you who have more dry skin I think this would be something you would love to try especially if you're already a Mahalo fan all right so let's stay on the skincare train a brand I used to love but sort of fell out of love with. I don't know why. I gotta repurchase some of the products because this is a brand that stole my heart when I first got into Green Beauty. And that is none other than One Love Organics. And this is their Youth Preservation Serum with Vitamin E. Oh my God, you guys, another really pleasant end of the year find. I've been using this quite a bit. You can use it both morning and night. It won't cause any sort of sun damage to the skin, which is something to keep in mind. Some products are only geared towards the nighttime, but vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant. Basically, it helps everything with keeping your skin looking young, youthful, and glowy. What more could you want? So this is um, much more oily than like the Mahalo, for instance. This is more like a serum I'm kind of used to, maybe even a little bit more slippery. Has a beautiful fruity watermelon scent that every time I put it on, it's like the most pleasant experience ever. And um, it glides on really easily. You could get this pump version, um, which is 30 milliliters, or they also have a roll-on, which I think is fabulous for traveling, sampling. Of course, it is at a reduced cost, but this is a great one. I think any sort of skin type can get down with this because hello, it's just keeping the skin looking young, moisturizing it, um, penetrating vitamin E inside of there to keep it looking as young and healthy as humanly possible. So that is new from One Love Organics, another favorite of mine. Now you guys, I you already heard about these, I'm sure if you follow our newsletter or you follow the Ficklow Beauty Instagram, they came out with two of the most banging palettes. They really just 
blew my mind here at the end of the year. I am gonna review these in full before the end of the year, so make sure you're subscribed. But we first have the Day Palette, and these palettes consist of one beautiful blush and five gorgeous eyeshadows. This is the Day Palette here. I'm just gonna quickly throw it up again. I'm gonna review, swatch, talk in detail about these. It is what I have on my eyes today. This is the Day Palette. It's stunning. I think it might be my favorite of the two. And then we have the Night Palette, which is like its sister, a little bit more shimmery shades in here, a few less mattes. The blush is a little bit deeper to sort of help with the help with the more dramatic eyes, but oh my god, the formulation on formulation, formulation on these really blew my mind. They are coming in hot at $69 a piece, but I think for five eyeshadows and, and blush, when you break it down, it's really not that bad, especially for the size that you're getting of these products, and especially for the wearability, you will just use these all the time. They're, you, they're neutrals yet unique, like I find I don't have a ton of these in my collection, and maybe I'll have to do a video comparing some colors at a later date, but review swatches, tutorials, those are all to come using those because um, I'm sure some of you already have these in your hands and I would love to show you guys how I've been liking to use them both individually and mixed together. So that launch, oh my god, that is like Christmas right there. Moving along from Woodlot. Woodlot is coming out with a new incense and this is their Copal incense. Now, if you're familiar with their Palo Santo incense, which I also really enjoy, that is actual sticks of Palo Santo that when you light them, they give off that really gorgeous scent that I personally love. These are more like a traditional incense. Again, I don't have them physically here with me, but I'll throw up an image for you guys. Um, there's 10 per box because they're a little bit more slim than the Palo Santo ones, like I said, and the scent of them is more of this woodsy, pine scent. I think that would be a really great stocking stuffer idea or something just to keep in your home for the holidays. Woodlot is one of those underrated brands, I think, because they don't create makeup products, just more like wellness lifestyle products. But the ones I've tried, I really like. And if you guys want to see more from Woodlot reviewed from me, just let me know. I'm happy to bring that to you guys. Another little new launch that really rocked my world is from Babo Botanicals. And I should have known that I was gonna love this because you guys know I really like their tinted sunscreen um, to wear during the summertime specifically, just cause it has a light coverage and um, provides sunscreen, of course. But not only that, I love their, um, they have these tinted lip balms that also have SPF in them. Well, they came out with these glosses and these are the NutriShine Hydrating Lip Luminizer Collection. Now individually, these retails for $20 a piece. However, in the set, you were getting them for 40 bucks. You're basically getting two of these for free. So if you like two shades and maybe not the other, maybe get the two for you and gift them because the price would work out the same. But I'm telling you guys, I couldn't believe how much, how wearable these colors are. I am wearing the third darkest one here, which might look a little intimidating, but it's really wearable. The shine on them is crazy because they have a little bit of a metallic finish. And when you look at them, it looks like, oh no, like I don't wanna look like an old lady at the Mac store getting this terrible metallic lipstick. But if she loves it, that's fine. I'm just saying, not my personal favorite look. Um, I was worried about that with these, but when you put them on, they're so wearable. They make the lips look so juicy, full, and healthy. These are a really nice find. Great ingredients, of course, non-sticky. We have a... They feel a little bit like the Lily Lolo glosses. Lily Lolo maybe feels a little bit more puffy to the touch, but these have a decent longevity to them um, without being sticky, without building up without looking overly shiny on the lips. I think that they are perfection. The colors are beautiful. And I'll have to include these in some upcoming tutorials so you guys can see just how much I love them. But um, in the meantime, here's a swatch photo for you. And um, highly, highly recommend for all my gloss girls out there. And of course, a fantastic gift idea for anyone in your life who you know likes lip gloss because we have a variety of shades, all of which are incredibly wearable. So another lip tint set that is on offer. This is just a lip balm set of a really nice, luxurious formulation from none other than Henne. I don't have this gift set, but I've tried all the shades. I've reviewed all the shades, so I'll include that down below with swatches, the whole thing. The shades are incredibly wearable. They're definitely for the more 
faint of heart because they're not quite as pigmented as um, some of the other options we carry on the website. But I also think this formulation is much more hydrating. So you get that sort of exchange. I think this is more of a treatment rather than color and some are more of a slippery color than a treatment balm, if you know what I'm talking about. But this set is, is going to retail for $63. So there's quite the savings in this one as well, which we're all here for again good for a lip balm lover someone who's not who doesn't wear a ton of makeup something like that and someone who maybe wants to dip their toes into the green beauty world I mean who doesn't like a good lip balm we make some of the best of them here in green beauty land just because all the nice natural ingredients and oils etc but anyways you are gonna get all four shades they make in here which includes a nude shade in bare includes a coral shade in coral then we also have a hot pink shade in uh, azalea and they also have a more cherry burgundy reddish kind of shade in intrigue and you get all four of those in the set again um, might be a nice time to try this product or to gift this product and finally Lily Lolo came out with another eye palette and this one I think is a little bit more interesting to me I think I might want to bring you guys a review of this one because I haven't tried this one yet but the appearance of it looks great. Of course, it's a vegan formula. Retails for $34 like the rest of their palettes. You get a beautiful variety of shades from what I can tell in the image. It's mostly these warm, beautiful browns, neutral browns, um, you know, champagne tones, things like that. But you also get this nice, rich, cobalt blue which i think just works perfectly i really like using those cobalt cobalt sort of shades like liner or sometimes they look even really natural just in the outer v it's one of those where if it's dark enough it looks very unassuming but it makes all the difference especially if you have um if you have brown eyes, it'll really bring out the brown in your eyes. Or if you have blue eyes, it'll really bring out the blue. It's just sort of like that little trick to the eye where it gives definition yet sort of enhances at the same time without the harshness of being black. So that might be a good one for you guys to try. Again, the most interesting Lily Lolo palette I've seen in a while. If you guys want me to review the other one, for whatever reason the name's escaping me, I can still bring you guys that review. It will just be in the new year. Thank you so much for coming along with me, watching all my What's New videos. I think it's the most popular series I do on here and understandably so because it is my favorite to make. So I hope that this um, gave you some new ideas of things to try in the new year or to finish your year off with me. Um, if there's something you already tried and love, I mean, I love to hear what you guys think and what you're loving. So please share it with me. What are you gonna be gifting to your loved ones this holiday season? Is it makeup? Even if it's not of the makeup variety, I would love to hear it. But thank you guys again. It has been such a great year of what's new. I uh, will have my yearly roundup coming very soon, of course. In the meantime, more videos will be coming to round out the year. And I cannot thank you guys enough. I am overwhelmingly thankful for the little community we have here and the support that you have given not only to me, but to Integrity Botanicals, Mark and Terry. I know that they are equally thankful and the whole Integrity Botanicals team. So thank you guys so much. Um, happy shopping as always and um, I can't wait to hear from you guys keep up with us on social in the meantime and I will catch you in my next video bye